the one thing I know and I want you to always remember is whatever happens, whether it is surgery and the first half of this year is, is written off, everything is going to work out absolutely fine. These tests in life, sometimes they come big, sometimes they come small, but there, there's, you know this stuff, there's lessons to be taken from every single one of them and they're there for a reason. Sometimes we don't want them there and it's pretty painful and upsetting and all of that, but I have so much faith in you in every way not just as a gymnast as a person as a human being i know that whatever happens mate you are going to be absolutely fine and you're going to come out of whatever it might be stronger and bigger and better than ever i might say that to you a few more times in the next few weeks and months but it's so important I'm sending you lots of love and support as always mate Okay guys, so slightly bit of a mess right now. A couple of hours out of spinal surgery. This video is gonna tell the whole story. First and foremost, there's no stress, nothing to worry about. This is not a career threatening, life threatening injury. So yeah, apologies for the scare, for the shot. Another chapter, a different chapter to my professional career. Come back stronger, I fear. Better athlete, better person. Hopefully inspire all of you guys. Strap yourselves in if I could grasp your attention for the next 10 minutes. I really appreciate it. And you know, the next 6 to 12 months, let's smash it. Love you guys. <sighs> I'm sure this night looks slightly better than the one that you've just seen. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell this story. I'm going to make it as painless and enjoyable as I possibly can. And those that follow me closely will know that I've, I've been quiet for two or three weeks on social media. I wanted to tell this story first before I moved on with my life. And it has been one of the most challenging two or three weeks I've ever had. We flew out to Germany for a senior camp with the German team. Everything was great. From a gymnastics perspective, it started to come together. I felt fit, I felt strong. Got there on the Monday night. On the Tuesday, I had routine work. So I'd started on the parallel bars, done amazing work. As I say, we were progressing towards the competitions coming up. I've had this neck injury since May, June, 2018. So I've struggled with it over time. And you guys know that I've had epidural jabs and injections, about two of them. It's been a challenge the whole period, the whole 10 month period. And I was on floor in Germany, the tumble, two and a half twist, punch full. Been doing it for years. As I hit the floor, rebounded. Boom, I felt it go straight away. I carried on the rest of my routine, surprisingly enough. And then from that moment, it got worse and worse and worse. To cut a long story short, I flew home the next day, had a scan. The bulge had grown massively and it's clearly pressing on my C7 nerve. The challenge is because the bulge is on it constantly, you're just in pain 24 seven. This is a few days before I've had the surgery. I'm in pain now, sat here, mainly my arm. So it's on this side, it goes up through my neck right from my arm, I get pins and needles in my hand. I've got weakness, you know, I've gone from being one of the fittest athletes, strongest athletes on the whole planet. Can't do a press up as I come down and collapse on the arm. The following three days after doing it, between eight and 10 out of 10 pain, constantly. So you can imagine how hard that was. Got heavily pain cut up and I was just sat in this flat watching Netflix, trying to get comfortable in a position where I wasn't in 10 out of 10 pain. Fast forward to today, we, we've made the decision, we've seen a specialist, which has been a challenging decision. This surgery that I've had in this video by now, it's quite a big deal. You know, it's, it's a big risk. There are a lot of risks to this. My goal and dream is strong enough to risk paralyzing myself, I guess. The surgeon is the best of the best and everything's gonna be absolutely fine. And, and again, this for me is, is about my dream. It's about the Olympics and I've got so many people invested their time and effort and money into myself for my potential to go to the Olympic Games and deliver the goods and, and achieve my goal, which is being the best gymnast I can on that day. Anyway, with that being said, my health and my happiness are above that. Being healthy for the rest of my life is so important to me. So we've made this, this decision predicated on that. 6 to 8 a.m. <coughs> Surgery day. Bit nervous, a little bit nervous, but I'm feeling up for it as well. I'm excited for this bit to be done now, to stop. It's sore this morning. Guys, what's your, your best What's your best breath to present? You having surgery, so you don't complain. <laughs> no, so you're not in pain anymore. I'm going to tell this whole story to those the medical team staff that said, please do not lead this with shock. We want to lead it with positivity and that we're going to overcome this. This is all my messaging now. That, you know, the reason for the title of the thumbnail was just purely to reach more people. I'm sorry. This is going to be a six to 12 month rehabilitation program. The first half of the year is going to be pretty much written off. Obviously, I will not be competing. Maybe, maybe not the October World Championships. So yeah, sorry. That's poo-poo. It's more poo-poo for me. I feel like I'm glad it's happened 
happened at this time. I'm obviously not glad it's happened. I'm glad it's happened at this time when you can do something about it. Like before the Olympics. It's my birthday. Now I feel older. Do you care about you being 25? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> She's 25, boy. You know, you buy, you guys pull the stunner. Pull the veteran stunner. A veteran. Now I feel like you've been really brave and I'm really proud of you. I'm really, really proud of you. I don't understand why the bottoms have to be see-through. Why can't they make them not see-through? <laughs> why are you bored about everyone seeing the linking? Oh, there's it. Oh, yeah. You might as well not have them on. <laughs> I like yourself. <laughs> kind of blends into your skin, that. Oh, I that looks like your legs now, yeah. We've done the surgery, and I think the most challenging thing right now is knowing the mountain that I've got to climb. I've been here before. We've all been here before. You've seen this. Uh, the journey with my ankle, I've had multiple surgeries. The anxiousness sat here now is knowing the mountain that I've got to climb. But once we're there, we're taking a day at a time and I know I will come through this stronger. I'm trying to stick to it myself, knowing that adversity is one of the biggest reasons for the successes I've had today. You know what, I'm a human being. Have I had thoughts and feelings of, I don't want to do it, I'm not having surgery. Forget gymnastics, forget Olympics. Of course I have. You know, I have had feelings of, of stress, of anger, of those around me, my, my girlfriend, I'm driving them insane, my family, I'm driving them insane. I'm sat on that chair over there, making bad decisions. I want to get rid of the pain. I drink some gin. I'd rather be completely transparent with you guys because those know that go through hardships. It's not just, it's all good me sitting here and saying, yeah, you just have to have a positive attitude and you'll be fine. No. With that being said, I want to take it upon myself to help people that are going through challenges, help you have the best attitude you can towards the life that you live. Surgery went all good, guys. You just give Gabs just like an absolute, just like <laughs> round of applause or something. My birthday, she's here with me, looking after me. Day two post surgery, we're flipping time zones, and I've just realised that I've not actually talked about the procedure that I've had done, so I don't know the technical terms for it. To my understanding, I had a herniating and bulging disc, so the disc had also torn, and it was pressing on the C7 nerve. Basically, we've pulled out, I, well, not we, the specialist surgeon has pulled out the full disc, the full herniation, everything is out of there, and he's replaced it with a titanium plate, albeit a ping up an extra now. It's incredible technology, and then also caged it and screwed it to my spine which in time will cause fusion i guess the reason that it does take six to twelve months rehabilitation is is just the time that it takes fuse and that bony healing 26th of january 2017 the date that i uploaded this video i had had ankle surgery almost two years ago once again i was in the hospital i remember i was absolutely blown away and thanking you guys so much for the support you not know, just with this journey the whole journey of gymnastics 1.3 million views and 17,700 127 subscribers two years ago. I thought we'd do the same today. Echo of two years ago, absolutely incredible. I appreciate guys, your guys support. The best practice in which I've been trying to do over these last few days is gratitude, understanding, taking a step back, seeing things in perspective, and reminding yourself what you have to be grateful for. I am on a different spectrum of gratitude. Like what I've got, the relationships I've got, the house that I'm sat in, you guys support. So much to be grateful for. So in this moment of downtime, of stress, reminding myself, there's more to life, there's more to life than the Olympics, there's more to life than gymnastics. And obviously I'm gonna go through this whole process. I'm gonna win at the end of the road. <laughs> I'm very grateful and, and that that might have hit a nerve with someone to, to just take, to take a step back and practice gratitude. I'm telling you, you will feel instantly better. So guys, I've pretty much in a nutshell covered everything. I just wanna say that the people around me, they're unbelievable. My family, my friends, which obviously my coaches and people go into that category, my girlfriend, those who just care about me and my happiness, you are all incredible. You know, versus professional side, coaches, physios, doctors, strength and conditioning, nutrition, psychology, specialist surgeons, the support from them people is second to none. It's unbelievable. I really want you guys to meet all these people, document this whole process, the ins and outs. So yeah, back to putting that subscribe button as I always say. On a slightly lighter note. Feeling like I've been hit by a train. <laughs> the f***ing merch is back. Most of you guys have probably thanked me for this, but I've not been plugging it every single second of every video over the last few weeks, but it is live, the drop, it went live on the 16th of February. NWclothing.co.uk is ready for the Wilson hits. Join the movement, we've got some new designs, new colors, and it would make me very, very happy, that man in that surgery chair, if you bought one, please. Love you so much, team. I'll see you on the beach. Woo! Feeling like I've been hit by a train. I joke about that with muscle soreness after gymnastics. Probably the closest I've ever felt <laughs> to that being reality. I've said thank you to, to my loved ones, to, to you guys. I just want to, again, take this opportunity 
to thank my current sponsors, Herbal Life Nutrition, Adidas, and the Kettlebell Kitchen. You know, the, the financial support is one thing up and towards the next games, but just that family community feel with a brand is exactly what you want as an athlete and, and to know that you've done something like this is serious. You know, all of them have been on the phone messaging saying, we wish you all the best. You know, you're gonna get through this. You know, our support is still there. So that's absolutely incredible. And for the, the two or three sponsors coming on board very soon, <laughs> same to you. <laughs> I guess whatever I've decided for the, the title of this video, it was just to reach as many people as I can to, to be able to tell this story and, and inspire you and get through this for me. You know, if I'm accountable to you guys, gonna be the, the best professional athlete I can from being honest and transparent. It's gonna help me through this journey. So thank you. Gymnastics is, is going nowhere. The goal and the dream of Tokyo Gold Olympics next year still stands. It's such a positive thing that, that the injury that I had is now essentially fixed and we can take it one day at a time for improving and improving. Follow me along this journey. Back to the subscribe button. I love you all team. Train smart. Keep it real.